The East West Hollywood Orchestrator finally has an update that lets you export MIDI data directly into your DAW. Hey everyone, my name is Robert Rodriguez and I'm a media composer. If you're new here, I wanna invite you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Last year, East West Sounds released a massive product called the East West Hollywood Orchestra Opus Edition and within that, the East West Hollywood Orchestrator. And around that time, I released my own first impressions video that kind of walked through the orchestrator itself. And if you own the product already, or if you saw that video, then you know that the orchestrator was a pretty big deal because you could get some pretty big orchestrations just from holding down a chord on your keyboard. Oh, that is so cool. But one of the biggest concerns that most people had was that there really wasn't a way to get the MIDI data from the orchestrator into your DAW, and more specifically, Logic. And even though you could hear the orchestrator's output, the MIDI data was really just the three notes that you would play as a block chord. There was no way to capture the actual techniques going on within the orchestrator. Now, I think this wasn't really too much of a problem with other DAWs. Like I know there was a workaround for Cubase, for example, but it was such a hassle within Logic. It was basically impossible. I did release a second video that kind of talked about this problem and kind of gave you a solution, but honestly, that solution wasn't practical in the end. Even within that video, I didn't even recommend that solution. It honestly was just too much of a hassle. I also tried configuring my own audio MIDI device setup on my Mac, but that really only captured the MIDI effects on an instrument channel rather than capturing the MIDI data of the orchestrator. And I didn't really want to purchase another program on the off chance that it might capture the MIDI data. I really just wanted a solution that was easy for everyone and native to both Logic and the orchestrator. I remember reaching out to the East West customer support team and they've honestly been amazing. They answered every question, every concern that I had. So they deserve some massive credit. And I remember in response to a MIDI export feature specifically, it was something that they were aware of and it would potentially come in some future update. So finally, the orchestrator has been updated and it is surprisingly easy to get the MIDI data into your DAW. So I opened up a brand new session in Logic and loaded up an instance of Opus. And then I go to the orchestrator and load that up. So I go to the empty preset drop down menu and I can see a bunch of different presets uh, within the preset browser. There's the ensembles, ostinatos, scores, and personal user presets. I think to get the most out of this example, uh, let's go directly to scores, because then you can see the full range of the orchestra. And let's just go with the typical Dark Hero, Dark Hero 3. And so by loading in the Dark Hero preset, I can see what the flutes are doing and what the two French horns are doing and the trumpet, right? Uh, timpani, everything is dedicated to its own uh, MIDI channel. And since the update, Opus allows you up to 16 outputs rather than the original nine. So before you would just press record, And so that was just a rough sketch, but the problem was that you would just get the MIDI data as block chords. But this is where the update comes in and it is so simple. So let's get rid of you. And right here, right down at the bottom right corner is a record symbol. Right now it's not doing anything, but once I hold down a chord, you'll see that this goes into recording mode. So let's try something. And you can see all right so it stopped recording that little circle went away and all you have to do is drag and drop into your daw so we will add it roughly around there uh, it asks you if you want to import tempo information. Sure, why not? We're not doing anything else in this session, so it really doesn't matter. Um, let's see. 
and there we go. Everything that we had before, flute legato, flute legato here, English horn staccatissimo, English horn here, uh, bass clarinet, bass clarinet, right? Contrabassoon, two French horns, solo trumpet, three trombones. Everything that we had loaded up in the preset now has its own instrument track and MIDI data region. And this is so, so useful. You now have so much more power over what you're writing. And honestly, you can now get more creative than just holding down block chords and accepting what the orchestrator gives you. And what's great about this way of exporting the MIDI data is that it actually separates out the data by instrument. Like it really could not be easier to get this data. Like that you don't have to go into any kind of settings here, there, there's nothing hidden. It's just simply record and that is it, drag and drop. I will say that there are some cons to this. One, it's me just not thinking all the way through. So I guess it's not a real con. You do have to go to each instrument individually and load up each patch of two flutes, legato, slur, light, right? English horn, staccatissimo, uh, double tongue. And you have to do that for every single instrument. Right now, Logic just loads up its stock plugins, which is not terrible, but for the Contra Bassoon Sustain, it loaded in a tweed picked synth. Um, for the bass clarinet, it loaded in a finger style bass. So if I were to play this now, it's definitely not going to be what it should sound like. Yeah, so that definitely sounded interesting. It was kind of cool, but it wasn't obviously the orchestra that we heard initially. But the good note is that if you don't want to use East-West instruments, you now have the data and can use other instruments, other libraries that you own. So that is definitely a plus. And there is one more con that really kind of sticks out to me. I've tried using this MIDI export feature a few times and every time um, it will kind of cut off what I am playing or it might not capture everything. Uh, you kind of heard it here around measure eight is when it kind of lets go of what I was playing, what I was doing, and it doesn't fully capture the data that I was doing with those block chords. So I'm gonna load in just Opus. And for now, let's just stick with stereo. We can go to Flute, Orchestral Woodwinds. This was, I think this, two flutes. Legato Slur Light. There we go. All right. Uh, this probably won't sound exactly like it did in the orchestrator. Actually, it looks like it actually comes with automation data as well. Um, I don't know if that's a logic thing or if that is from the orchestrator. Probably the orchestrator though. I'm kind of nervous, but let's have the stereo out be kind of low, maybe duck everything down a couple of dBs, just in case it doesn't go the way we planned. All right, here goes. Wow, okay, wow. Much better than uh, than I thought it would be, especially just by loading in the instruments, no tweaks, nothing. Wow, okay, and you can kind of hear from measure eight, it doesn't have, um, I went down to an F, it, there, there's no really F there. So it does kind of cut off in certain spots, but that being said, you know, surprisingly, surprisingly well. Um, so now we can actually solo just the woodwinds. Let's actually bring everything up. Like, that's really, really, really cool. 
Um, let's solo the brass. And this is so you can see what's going on. Wow, love that. Uh, we don't solo that anymore. Let's solo the percussion. See, I never would have even heard that if it was just the orchestrator itself. Like the vibraphone is doing some really cool stuff. All right, um, that was percussion. And last but not least, strings. And there was a little hiccup around measure six. Yeah, so it doesn't end. It doesn't fully end, um, which is a little bit of a bother. But then you can see around measure six where I moved my 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 fingers. So that's it. That's really a quick example of how you can take the MIDI data from the orchestrator and just import it into your DAW. I'm sure that this is probably very similar for other DAWs as well, not just Logic, but obviously I don't know exactly how that would work, but you know, I'm sure that the drag and drop would be just fine. Overall, I'm extremely impressed. I was blown away with the orchestrator back in April or May, whenever this came out, but now with this update, there's so much more freedom that we have as composers, but I don't want us to forget the purpose of a tool like this. As smart of a program as this is, it's taking orchestration techniques from different genres of Hollywood films. So the orchestration isn't necessarily original, right? That's why us as composers need to hold ourselves accountable for actually learning and improving our skills rather than just relying on the orchestrator to pretty much do all of the heavy lifting as you hold down a chord. Maybe take the time to actually learn and understand what's going on in the MIDI data. And I do want to make it clear that, you know, not all of us have an orchestral background. So something like this orchestrator is the perfect tool for somebody just starting out, someone that might only play piano, that might only play guitar, but they want to compose, they just don't know how. What I love about this orchestrator is that it's really just such a great learning opportunity to break down the orchestration techniques of just different Hollywood genres. And so to kind of build off of what this orchestrator provides, I want you to look into my favorite go-to orchestration book called The Study of Orchestration by Sam Adler. I think it's one of the best guides that really breaks down each section of the orchestra. So if you are interested in that, I left a link for it in the description down below. Also, if you're interested in composing for film, games, and television, I have a reference guide that quickly breaks down the four elements of music for major film genres. And the link for that is in the description as well. So that's gonna be it from me. I hope you got some value out of today's video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any more content like this. I'll see you all in the next video and as always, happy be composing.